Okay, guys, so the video stopped. I don't know what the heck happened, but I'm not reshuffling this deck, okay? Um, we're getting messages from ancestors, your spirit guides, okay, so that you're aware of what's happening behind the scenes, okay? So the cards that I pulled out was unrequited love. There's not an, enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Now, to me, what this is telling me, okay, is that this is for the person, that you're in separation from. The person that they left you for, Spirit is letting them know there's no love there. There's no love. But Spirit wants them to know it's okay to be playful with you. You're true, you're the true divine counterpart. Okay. The first card that came out after that one was this is your soul's calling. You answered your call. Okay, some of these people have stepped into their divinity, okay, um, and they answered the call. They're finally stepping up. They may have to get an order of protection on the person that they left you for. If it's not them, it's you. You guys may have to get an order of protection on these people that are trying to come back to you, okay? Um, the karmic is constantly comparing herself to you. Um... They took their time because they always thought that you'd be an option. Divine is saying focus on your stability and let them work behind the scenes on these masculines and the person that you're in separation from. They're waking up though. Some of them are waking up to realize you are, they are in love with you. When they wake up, it will be too late though. Some of these people have taken their time. Okay. Oh. Divine said when it's not reciprocated, don't be so given. You are too pure for them. They fucked up. They never fucked with an empress before. They never came across somebody like you. Never. They didn't know how to handle you. They didn't know how to... What the fuck? What is this? What's an empress? Breaking up connection is a win for them. For, this is the karmics. For the very last time. When you want me to stop. Some of them are waking up and they're coming they're coming back. Some of them have stepped into their divinity. They're healing. They're they're releasing those karmics and they're coming back for you guys. Okay. Look at the person that they they chose over you has been sleeping with someone else. Somebody must have went to a sweat box getaway. They need to put that shit to rest. Put that fucking karmic cycle to rest, man. Don't be afraid. That's the problem. They're afraid of you. Cause I won't bite. They never seen an empress before. They're like, what the fuck is that? So they mistreated you. They mishandled you guys. Not realizing that God sent them a, a, a gift. That you were a gift from God to them. And the way that you guys will be able to differentiate who's a karmic and who's a gift, the karmic is the person that continuously puts you through shit. Who keeps fucking hurting you after her, after her, after her, and lies and says they're going to do better, they're going to do better, I'm going to do better. But they never fucking do better. That's the karmic, okay? The one that um, you're supposed to be with is the one that showed you nothing but love. That inspired you, uplifted you, okay? That have, that was always there for you. That's your true empress. Not the person that has put you through bullshit. I don't care if you have kids with this person. I don't care if you want to make the fucking family work. It will never fucking work. You need to get, get that shit out of your head.
Some of these karmics pretended to be a high uh, empress. And they may have had, um, you know, may have um, had special gifts, may have been um, intuitive. But their messages was not coming from the divine. They were getting their messages from lower entities, from the devil. Learn the difference, guys. Somebody who is of the divine doesn't do shit like that. You guys need to want to choose better for yourselves. Love yourself enough to know that that's not fucking love, man. And the reason why you guys keep having tower after tower with these people, with these karmics, is because you're not supposed to fucking be there. You're trying to fix something that can't be fixed. That person cannot, you can't fix somebody who doesn't want to be fucking fixed. They're happy being a fucking karmic. That's why you guys are being blocked from your empress, from your true divine counterpart. Because how you, they're not going to, ancestors are not going to allow you to get nowhere near the true empress while you're dealing with a fucking karmic conflict, drama, chaos, manipulation, confusion, illusions. Some of you guys, your intuition was trying to tell you. But you did not pay attention to the fucking red flags. There's a new baby on the way. Some of them want to know if they could, you know, they want to talk to you. Some of them have been waking up to their truth that, you know, what's fucking going on. Okay, guys? But you guys are going to have to use your discernment when these people come back to talk to you. Woo! Energy shift. You gotta wanna love yourself. And I get that everybody, you know, I, I was the, I was that person. I wanted to keep my family together. I wanted to have the perfect family picture. The perfect family. Okay? But at some point of time, you have to realize this is not the perfect family. And you got to want to choose better for yourself. Because you're staying in an unrequited commitment with these people, these karmics. And guess who gets to see that? Your children are seeing it. If you think for one second you're hiding that from your kids, you are sadly mistaken. Children are the most intuitive beings. They feel, see, and hear everything. Even if you think you're hiding it from them. They know when mom and dad is not going, shit is not going right. And then you start passing those um, generational curses onto your children, letting them think that it's okay to deal with toxic behavior, toxic people, okay? And that's how generational curses continue. Break those fucking chains. Set your kids free. Let them see that it is okay to choose better when somebody is not fucking doing right by them. It ain't about a fucking... A family photo with fake smiles on it, okay? Oh, ooh, spirit is speaking to me. This is a lot. That's exactly what that photo is fake fucking photos. Pretending. You guys deserve happiness, you guys deserve true love. But you have to see that shit yourself, man. Nobody else can make you see that shit. You have to see that shit. You have to want better for yourself and for your kids. Live for the truth, man. down inside I know I truly love you you heard that
I love you always and forever. They're ready to leave it all behind. They're ready to give it up. If you're thinking about using a sauna, you can easily sign up and start using it. So much energy in this room right now. Woohoo! I like who my hairs are standing up. Ooh, masculine is around me. I can feel the energy. <laughs> Recipe for a disaster. Luck is in your favor, trust. Once you leave that karmic, believe, trust. Second chance in life, rewrite your story. It's all about you. Rewrite that story, man. You're getting a second chance in life. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up, man. Don't fuck it up. Choose better. Choose you. Choose you finally. Don't betray yourself the way that they did. See and feel the vibes. Don't second guess your intuition, man. That's a second intuition card. Have faith. No matter how hard it is, collective, for them to try to forget about you, they cannot forget about you because you're their true divine counterpart. sex with you guys I don't know what you guys did you did something <laughs> cause it's hot in here start fresh they're ready to start fresh start making positive affirmations guys face down ass up back 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 it up Close this out. Look at the cars now. You're coming <laughs> Good she Don't stop, baby. Don't push me. Wow, it's hot in here. Oh. <laughs> Those karmics are making you second guess yourself to stop you from your divine purpose, your divine destiny, your divine counterpart. Don't let those karmics do that. We have kids reminiscing on memories, bringing up old memories. Remember this? Remember that? Fuck that. I remember I remember you doing this, hurting me, cheating on me, fucking me over, having me be fucked up in my head. That's what you want to... Yeah, and I also remember this. And I remember that. Shit is 
it's hot in here. You need to cut the cords. Cut the cords. Cut the toxic people, places, and things so that you can get your empress, your divine counterpart. Some of these karmics did a binding spell on you guys. And that's why it's hard for you to let go. Wake up, pay attention to your intuition. These karmics are not playing fair. <laughs> they don't want to see you happy. They only come in to disturb your peace and stop you from moving forward. What else, Vivid? Come on. What? Woo! Jealousy makes people do shit. That karmic was jealous of your empress. Somehow, some way, that karmic found out about your empress. And jealousy made them do stupid shit. And if you guys are still having sex with them, constantly having sex with them keeps the spells attached and working to you guys. Stop fucking fucking them. Don't go back. Look, what the fuck? More spell work. They ruined the connection with black magic. They stopped you from moving forward with your empress, your divine counterpart, with black magic, sex magic. Snap out of it, man. That's a fucking unhealthy obsession. Because they're not doing it because they fucking love you. They're doing it because they don't want to see you happy. So don't be sitting there, oh... They love me. Oh, look at all this stuff that they're doing to me. They must love me. No, the fuck they don't. They don't want you to be happy. They're not fucking loving you. They don't love you. Love doesn't hurt. Love doesn't betray. Love doesn't sit here and cheat. Love doesn't have you in your head. Love doesn't have you talking down on somebody. You should you should be uplifting your, your divine counterpart, whether it's female or male. Why can't I trust this person? That's the questions you need to start asking yourself. Not why God. Why God? Why isn't this working? It's not working because it wasn't meant for it to work. Oh my God. Prostitution scandal. Ooh, karmics are fucking doing prostitution. Karmics are having friends. Having fucking friends. They're fucking selling their body. Some of these guys are ready to move forward and leave everything behind. Because they're realizing that the karmic don't give a fuck about their feelings. Ooh. Prostitution scandal. When the secrets come out, watch. They're going to find out that the person that they invested in is selling themselves. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Court case. They're not happy with the karmic. They're realizing that they chose the wrong path. They realize that there was unrequited love there. And that it's okay for them to be playful and happy with you. What did I just say? Secrets are coming out. Secrets are coming out. What did I say? Those karmics don't fucking love you. They want to stop your happiness, man. Caution. Who's the spell work that they sent to you? Those dark ent entities that they were conjuring up is attacking them now. That's fucking crazy. the fuck you sit here and put a spell on somebody what the fuck
fuck? I don't want to be loved. I don't want love like that. What the fuck? They couldn't be honest. They couldn't be honest with you. They're finally following their heart and realizing it's not about the material good look type of shit. Why? Because they realize that you're the fucking star. You're compassion. You're hope. You're lovable. You're their wish for fucking fulfillment. They underestimated you guys. Why? Because you guys, you guys, okay, turn people into, you turn people spiritual. You set people on their life purpose, on their path to spirituality, guys. Protect your peace, your happiness, your blessings, and your money. Protect yourself. Block them, motherfuckers. They're realizing that you're an Egyptian goddess. You're a goddess. Remember who you are. These people are going to be coming back. Some of them, some of them are healed. Some of them are going through the process. Some of them are not. You guys are going to have to flip-flop yourself where you see fit. But they want you. They're realizing that they fucking want you. These karmics have been using the moon phases to keep those spell works going. Now they're freaking the fuck out because those fucking spells that they were sending to you, those entities, those fucking lower entities, is fucking attacking them. They're freaking the fuck out. Because these people are unhealed. They're so focused on past pain instead of healing. Fuck that. Hurt people, hurt people. Some of them are spiritually spying on you. They're getting into your energy field. They don't fucking stop the karma that they're going to get for fucking with you. Ancestors get really, really mad. Let me tell you that now. Spivit is saying, stop being a fool and take the leap of faith. Stop being a fool and move forward. Take the leap of faith to the empress, the person that you truly think about, that you dream about daily, the person that's constantly on your mind. That's your divine counterpart, man. The one that inspires you, the one that brings you hope, the one that puts a smile on your face, the one that uplifts you, that shows you love unconditionally, the one that's compassionate to your needs. That's your true divine counterpart. They underestimated you and had no idea how powerful you are. Sorry for never telling you I was married. They put you in a third party. Some of these people didn't even tell you that they were fucking married. If they don't fucking wake up, they're going to be stuck in a toxic loop. Karmic cycles last 8 to 10 years. I'm going to keep saying that in every video I make. They're realizing that they can't be trusted. The person that they're with, they can't trust them. You can't trust them. Spirit is saying you cannot trust them. You chose the wrong person. You keep choosing the wrong person. You keep going the wrong way. You are my muse. 
Empress, they're watching you. They're saying that you're their muse. They secretly admire you from a distance. They're ready to stand up to this kid for this connection, yo. They were warned to leave you the fuck alone. Time is up. Time is up. You guys are starting to see the truth now. Secrets will be exposed. You can do better. If you go back, your life won't be blessed. Stop playing, man. That's enough for spirit to say to me. Fuck that piece the fuck out. I'm out. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave it there, okay? Love and light. Bye.